We thought she uh, was really sporty and just enjoyed that and she didn't really used to like drama or English and uh, she's come to Dean Close and she's just through having lots of different opportunities, excelling in lots of other things. She started piano lessons, she stood up on the stage in the, uh, in the junior forms play at Easter and spoke, which she would never have done previously to that. Um, she's quite shy, or has been quite shy, and it's really bringing her out of her shell. Well, Dean Close really stood out initially because of the homely nature that, uh, that was offered, the ability for her to be part of a bigger family. And I've really found that everyone here understands Sophie in our lives and, and the support is phenomenal. She's made some really good friends, yes, there's a good little gaggle of them in the girls' dorm uh, here in Wilton. And beyond that, she's made some really good friends so from classes and through all the sports she's doing and just through the opportunities, the trips, uh, some of the boarding trips that she's done, not just with Wilton, but through the other boarding houses as well. For me, it's been the opportunities that Sophie's had. So whether that be going to Gibbon Circus or going to the beach or playing in the snow, walking them to the park, buying them comics, they're just always busy doing something and that's really important because then she doesn't miss home so much. She's had a few little wobbles, but we've sort of explained that that's absolutely normal. Um, but she's happy and bright the majority of the time, and when she's not, she gets stuck into an activity or she has a bit of a chat with one of the staff members that's around, and uh, that picks her up. But Mr and Mrs Frayne have been absolutely brilliant, and the fact that they include their children in everything as well, it's just, it's like one big happy family. It's, uh, it's a bit of a cliche, but it really is fantastic.